Starting airsoft can be a bit overwhelming when it comes to what you do and don't need. When you first start, a bunch of people will be saying you should buy this, you shouldn't buy that, and it can be quite conflicting and confusing. So what I did was I did a lot of research, asked a bunch of communities, and got together a collective top five list of all things a beginner should look to acquiring before their first non-renting game day. Face and eye protection. You cannot play airsoft in any capacity without eye protection. There is nothing more terrifying than the chances of you losing an eye at a game, so that you should really prioritise this as your top thing. Good eye protection will stop a BB hit and prevent fogging up when you play. As you play you're going to breathe heavier and the chances of your glasses fogging up increases. One of my big recommendations are paintball style masks. I personally run a dye eye 4 occasionally and it is fantastic. No fogging, you have teeth protection, cheek protection, ear protection, eye and nose protection. The only thing vulnerable is the top of your forehead which can be covered with a hat. It is a great idea and very cost effective considering it covers the majority of your face. Alternatively, if you don't like this kind of look, there are other options. When I don't run a dye mask, I run Sawfly Revision Glasses and I use an anti-fog wipe, as well as a Delta Mike Face Snood. What this does is, is you put it over your face and over your ears and there's a small steel insert which protects your teeth. This can cover your ears, your mouth and your cheeks. And this covers your eyes very generously and is very secure with this back strap. A lot of people prefer this over the regular paintball mask as it's less cumbersome on someone's face. But I actually like to run both depending on the situation I'm in. I'll have links to everything on this list in the description below. So if you want to acquire any of the items I'm talking about, you'll know where to find them. The second thing I would recommend is also gear you have to invest in high quality foot protection. Invest in something that's going to protect your ankles. It is very common that airsofters without ankle protection will roll an ankle or sprain it in the game. This is very painful and uncomfortable and something we should all try to avoid. You can get very cheap ankle protection type boots as well as shoes. I've run anything from surplus military boots all the way to Converse. Anything like that, something that supports your ankle will be very beneficial to you in the field. It's worth investing in. Thirdly, invest in an AEG that you like and enjoy. Version 2 AEGs are very common and very easy to work on and use. A lot of them are very affordable and perform excellently. The majority of people run these guns because they are reliable and there are lots of parts out there in case you run into a breakage. A version 3 AK or a version 2 M4 will do leaps and bounds for you. It's important that you get your experience and you know what you like before you make a big purchase. Invest in some high quality BBs. The difference between high and low quality BBs is night and day. Good BBs will guarantee higher consistency at range. Your shots will be in a much tighter grouping and the chances of debris and jams in your rifle is much less. A lot of people will simply go to Amazon or eBay and buy the cheapest thing they can find, but this is a very bad idea. There are many great BBs out there, like ASG, Jeff's, Longbow, and BLS. These are all very readily available and absolutely worth investing in. It is not that much more than poor quality BBs. Finally, invest in a high quality charger. Hopefully, and if, your first gun is an AEG, please invest in a good charger. A good charger will ensure that you safely charge your batteries for your AEG. Poor battery charging can cause massive issues, including LiPo fires, but with a reliable charger, this is very unlikely to happen. I use an IMAX charger. There are many of these chargers and they are very high quality and allow for a lot of options with charging. You can charge most batteries and do storage modes, fast charging and reliable charging. This really is the optimum for battery charging and is very affordable at roughly £40. I'll have links in the description of where you can buy these from. Finally, as an honourable mention, when you play, try have a positive outlook. Not all your games are going to be fantastic, there will be down days, but it's worth sticking with it. If you're not sure that you like your first gun, ask to borrow other people's, get a good informed opinion. Most airsofters are extremely friendly and as introverted as you are. They are worth talking to 
and everyone just wants to get on and have fun. If you like this kind of content, please let me know. We have recently upgraded our audio quality and our video quality. If you notice that and you like it, please tell us. If you want to see more of this content or visit my website, there'll be a link below and the subscribe button.